If you spend your money wisely, there are certain health problems that we can throw our money at to solve them really easily. Of course, there's this a vicious cycle of um, earn money, which sacrifices our health because we're too busy earning money, which sacrifices our health so we can earn more money. And the measure of success in life, unfortunately, is financial. But what if your measure of success in life is more health related to do with your mental health or your physical health, the time you can spend with your family? If we can, if we can switch this cycle, we don't necessarily need to, to change the cycle, we just need to redirect it from earning money to improving our health, to improving our life, which in effect can make sure that the money that we are earning can be pointed in the right sort of direction. So what problems can we can we throw money at? What, what health problems can we throw money at to easily improve our health? Well, the first is sleep. How can we throw money at sleep to improve it? You spend a third of your life in bed. Maybe you can invest in a better pillow or a better bed sheet or um, maybe you could invest in one of those sheet toppers that controls the temperature of your bed so you can drop it down a few degrees to sleep better. Maybe you could throw your money at a nutrition problem. Maybe if you're not eating well, spending a little bit of money to get your shopping home delivered so you have really good, fresh, healthy food in the house. Um, maybe you could throw your money at a subscription service to one of those pre-prepared meal companies so you know there's always something good in the fridge or the freezer to, to always get you eating well. Maybe you could throw money at exercise if that's a problem for you. Maybe you can pay someone to hold you accountable to exercise. A trainer or a coach who can take you under their wing and guide you through this process. Maybe you can throw money at mental health. Maybe spending some time to see a psych or a counselor. There doesn't have to be anything wrong with you to see a psych. Psychs are really great for starting to give you some strategies to not only improve your mental health if it's something you're struggling with, but to improve your mental health if it's something that you're not struggling with. Um, maybe you could spend money on a subscription to a mindfulness app or spending money on a meditation retreat. Again, throwing money at these problems can have some really good effects and it's a better way to spend your money than to just get stuck in that cycle of earn more, get less healthy, earn more, get le less healthy. Can you throw money at your environment? The environment that we're in, the things that surround us has a lot of impact on, on our health and our mental health. Um, so how can, you, how can you spend money to optimize the environment around you? Maybe you always feel better in a nice, clean, tidy house. Can you pay a cleaner to come in once or twice a week? Is that gonna remove some of the stress and anxiety and the responsibility of having to keep the place clean and, and also have you happier because you're in a better environment? Um, maybe you love driving a nice clean car. You could get your car cleaned every couple of weeks or you can get your car professionally detailed every couple of weeks. Um, how about your physical health, your musculoskeletal health? How can we throw money at this? Maybe you treat yourself to a massage every week or every fortnight. Uh, and again, you may be reluctant to spend money on these things, but the money is there to improve your quality of life. Otherwise, what is it for? Your money in your bank account and your bank balance shouldn't just be a score bar, a scoreboard as to how hard you work. It should instead be a tool that you can use to improve your life in some way. Um, there's a concept that the author Aramit Siti talks about, and he talks about this concept of money dials and how different people have different dials turned up to varying levels. Maybe your holiday dial is turned right up and you give yourself permission to spend a lot of money on holidays and travel. Um, maybe your food dial is turned right up. Maybe your social or your family dial is turned right up. Maybe your fashion dial is turned right up. It's all about you determining which dials you should be turning up to spend more money on and which dials you should turn down. So please consider turning up that health dial throwing your money at some of these problems so you're not stuck in that cycle of earn more, get less healthy, earn more, get less healthy, but instead reshaping that cycle to earn more and use that to improve the quality of your life. Thanks guys. If you'd like to learn more about what we do at Range of Motion, head to rangeofmotion.net.au. See you next time.